Whether you're looking for an affordable suspension upgrade or just an alternative to the big two suspension brands out on the market, Marzocchi has some really good products that are worth looking at. And today we're gonna be getting into the Z1 fork and Bomber Air rear shock. So if you guys are regular viewers of the channel, you might notice we're in a little bit of a new spot. We are very excited to have moved offices, just got our workbench and tool wall built up, got a few little knickknacks and stuff to hang up on the wall still, but uh, we couldn't delay putting out more content and keeping you guys satisfied out there in YouTube land. So um, thanks to Feedback Sports for hooking us up with an awesome stand and tools. And today we're going to be talking about the Smartzoki suspension mounted up on our Fizari LaSalle Peak. Now, if you remember several months back, we did a dissected on this Fizari and we actually had EXT suspension on it, which um, is a boutique brand. Many would consider, you know, some of that high level boutique stuff to be some of the best suspension offerings out there. And we really liked the EXT stuff. And for that reason, it was going to be a really exciting comparison to put what we would consider kind of like a I don't want to say bargain, but like a good bang for your buck suspension uh, product up against the highest end boutique stuff out there. And I got to say, we were very pleasantly surprised. In fact, uh, Sour Patch even said he would rather have this bike with the Marzocchi than the EXT. Um, and uh, we'll kind of get into some of the reasons why he liked it so much and why the rest of our test crew were so happy. First, we're going to get into some of the tech and offerings. <clears throat> Marzocchi offers this Bomber Air Rear Shock for $479. Um, it is available in a wide range of lengths, um, stroke, eye to eye, it is metric or trunnion offerings available. So we're not going to list them all off. Just go to the website. We'll have a link below and you can find out if there's something that fits your bike. Most likely there will be because there's a lot there. Similarly, the Z1 fork is available in a 27 and a half, 29. They've got two different offset options and a range of travel up to, um, I believe 180 on this thing. We've got ours set at 170. This retails for $729. Uh, the weight is just over 2,200 grams, obviously depending on steer tube length, 27 and a half, 29. All those things will vary a little bit, but um, uh, a little bit heavier than the Fox 36, which it shares a lot of similarities with, being that Marzocchi is owned by Fox. Um, however, there are some similar and also very different ride characteristics, which we're excited to get into. First, let's talk about the rear shock. So a couple months back, we did a tech check in-depth look of the new Bomber rear shock. Uh, we will also link that down below for you guys to reference where we went into a lot more depth and detail regarding the technology and features. So when it comes to Marzocchi's philosophy on suspension products, they want things that are going to be durable, perform well, be simple for a wide range of riders, and of course not break the bank. So that rear shock as well as their forks fall into that philosophy very easily in that there's not a ton of adjustments. The tunes that they put into this, these products is going to be pretty compatible with a wide range of bikes and riders. There's a really simple sweep adjust. You don't have to count clicks. All you're going to do is just change that sweep adjust and the turns that you make in that sweep adjust really make a noticeable difference. So you're able to set and forget. And if you want to try and turn that a little adjuster a little bit, you're going to notice a bigger difference. It's not like one click, two click, did I feel it? I'm not sure. With this, every time you turn this a few degrees, you're going to notice a difference in how the shock and bike are feeling on the trail. So kind of keeping in line with that across the board is they're not going for riders that are counting clicks and seconds. They're trying to count miles and smiles. Now, I think it's a really cool philosophy. And as a, you know, a rider whose job it is to test products, to test, you know, bikes, suspension, tires, wheels, you know, we are, I mean, our job is to be in tune with how bikes are performing and handling the trail. And we're always trying to isolate where that little bit of hang up might be, where that feedback or chatter might be coming from. And so it's really hard for us to 
just forget what's going on with a bike and just go out for a ride and have fun. And I found that when I got on this bike, coming from EXT suspension, right, which is like the tinkerer's dream, I just went out and enjoyed myself. Like I got my sag set up, I got the rebound feeling where I thought I would want it, turned the compression pretty much wide open because um, I, you know, sag's right, I think it's good to go. And I had a blast. Like I've literally turned stuff just to experiment with how much that, that adjuster changes the compression but I'm not far off from my initial ride setting. I didn't need to add volume reducers. I didn't change my rebound more than one or two times. And overall, I just, it simplified the ride experience. And in some ways, it, like it just let me have more fun because I wasn't trying to isolate how many more clicks do I need to add on the shock to get that little bit more or that little bit less. And um, I think for a lot of riders, that's going to be a blessing in disguise. Maybe actually it's not all that much disguise. It's just a blessing. Um, so moving up to the fork, a lot of similar good feedback from that. Um, what I will say is different about the, the Marzocchi fork compared to the Fox fork, for example, and to some extent the RockShox as well, but um, this is a 36 millimeter chassis. I felt like it rode stiffer um, slightly more supportive, higher in the travel, and uh, while it carried over some of the ride characteristics of the Fox, um, it also was a bit different, right? And, and a lot of Fox forks, I'm instantly finding myself needing to add a volume reducer, uh, figure out what's going on with the compression, high speed, low speed, all that sort of stuff. With this fork, I aired it up. I might have aired up like an extra five PSI just because I didn't have the low speed and I just ran this compression all the way open here on the grip damper. Um, and like similar to the shock, I was really impressed. The, the sensitivity was really rather impressive. Um, it didn't dive for me very much. Uh, the, the bottom out resistance was really good. It was progressive. I'd never felt like I need to go add more volume reducers to this fork, which is crazy because, you know, for so long, RockShox and Fox stuff, it, that was kind of like an instant thing was like, how many volume reducers are in here? Let's add one or two and get back out on the trail and try it out. So um, the slightly heavier alloy that Marzocchi uses, uh, as well as the slightly less machined lower legs does increase some stiffness as well as weight. But again, you know, Marzocchi is trying to bring the cost down and by doing that, they're using a little bit heavier material. Also machining the legs a little less, that increases that, that chassis stiffness a bit. Um, and I think overall improves the ride of what this 36 millimeter fork offers. The, the big takeaways for me really are, overall, I'm very impressed. You're getting a fork and a rear shock that can cost less than some top of the line forks. So uh, you can get out, upgrade your bike front and rear with new dampers, have a great time. You don't have to spend all that energy, that time, you know, thinking about how much more I need to adjust my suspension. And in some ways, um, you can just have more fun because you're not spending that time riding, thinking about isolating suspension, making tunes and changes to what's going on with your bike. You can just turn the knob a little bit and you're like, oh, that's better. Or, oh, that made it too soft or that made it a little too stiff and you turn it back again. And, and in that, you just get back to the roots of having fun, riding your bike and not spending all that time thinking about it. Is it for everybody? Absolutely not. There are riders out there. I don't want to say riders that are too good because when you've got rampage level athletes like, you know, Tyler McCall, Jackson Riddle that are out there riding bigger than anything you or I could ever dream of hitting, they're not too good for that stuff, right? But there are people who maybe they're more race oriented. Maybe they ride in a lot of different terrain and they just enjoy tinkering and tuning their suspension for different conditions. Um, you know, it's probably not gonna be for you, but that's fine because it wasn't designed for you. It was designed for the vast majority of people that wanna save money, have a reliable, durable suspension product that's going to hold up to the test of time and not distract them from riding by getting out their Allen wrenches in their notebook. So um, I'm, I'm really stoked on the product, guys. I, I think, 
you know, taking EXT stuff off of this bike and putting Marzocchi stuff on it and banging out bike park laps, going out and pedaling. Um, I think the liveliness and the playfulness is better than an EXT. Obviously that was set up as a coil shock. I'm not saying Marzocchi is better than EXT, but in certain applications for certain riders like Sour Patch really thought that this air suspension on some of our more flowy, bermy jump trails, it made the bike come alive. It made it just super playful and lively. It felt light, it jumped light. Um, whereas, you know, like the EXT stuff, I thought it ate up that chunder and chunk at the bike park a little bit better, but by no means was this a major letdown, like in any way, especially for, you know, half or a quarter of the price. So I think Marzocchi did a really good job um, I would suggest that riders who are looking for an, either an upgrade, a refresh, or want to get a new suspension product that's not going to break the bank, uh, you should really check out the Z1 and the Bomber Air. I think you will be very pleased with how that stuff is doing. Um, you know, we're, we're excited. We're not getting paid to say this. You know, we're not making commission or being told what to say. I just genuinely think that um, it's really cool to almost take a step back in the need to tweak and tune and just to go out and ride bikes and have fun. And uh, when something works well and does it and doesn't cost a ton, even better. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and our new studio. Stand by for some more upgrades and decorations inside. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment with any questions or suggestions you'd like to see future content on and we'll hope to see you guys out on the trails.